Chapter two, what do you mean a brain? What does this machine do? Tom asked the museum guide. Oh, look at the picture. They're in a museum with his class at school. Over here we saw the science museum. It makes electricity, she answered. How? Tom asked. Oh, I remember. Tom likes questions. Tom always asked a lot of questions. How do washing machines work? That was before. Now he asks again. How? Tom asked. Well, the guide began, this wheel turns around and the electricity is generated here. She pointed to a huge chrome ball. When you touch the ball, the electricity travels up your arm and through your body and makes your hair stand on end. When you touch it, your hair stands up because of the electricity. Tom tried it. He looked weird with his hair all pointy. Excellent, he yelled. He's so excited. And what about this? He asks another question. This is an earthquake machine. Ooh, here's another machine. You stand on the plate on the floor and it rattles and shakes so you know what an earthquake feels like. Oh. Tom rushed here and there, asking questions, trying experiments, and starting, pushing, and holding gadgets. Oh, he's moving. He even went to the museum gift shop and spent the money Mom had given him that morning. What did he shop for? Let's see. What did you buy? Mom asked when he got home. A brain, Tom said proudly. Oh, the brain. Here it is, the box. What do you mean, a brain? Brain in a box, Tom replied handing it to his mother. Here's the box. Let's see the brain inside. She examined it closely. It was a clear plastic box with a small gray rubber brain. Here's the brain inside that grew if you put water in with it. Psh, you pour the water and it will grow. It was called brain in a box. When it had grown, kids could examine it to see what a real brain looked like. Mom helped Tom fill the brain's plastic box with water. She placed it by his bed for him to study. Imagine his surprise when it had grown to three times its size by the next day. Wow! No wonder he's so surprised. His surprise. How did the trip to the museum go, Tom? Dad asked as he appeared at the bedroom door. Great, Tom replied. I suppose you asked a million questions. Yes, sure did, Tom said brightly. You'll be telling us how car engines work next, huh? Dad said, grinning. By internal combustion, Tom replied casually. What? Oh, right. Dad said as he rushed to finish getting ready for work. Hmm. Tom finished his breakfast. He wiped some sticky jam from his face with the back of his hand and wandered back to his room. Tom looked at the brain in a box. It lay there gray and silent. He picked up the box, slipped it into his school bag, and rushed off to school. Hmm, what will happen at school with Tom's brain in a box?